Hello, today I'll be CSSing something like this gradient infinity logo. So we're going to start with a single div, which we'll call infinity. Um, and for the CSS, we're first going to set an outer diameter. And this is going to be, let's say something like, this should do it. Infinity, uh, we're going to set display flex on it. We're going to have um, before, we're going to have an after, uh, we're going to give them dimensions equal to that outer diameter, the height is going to be equal to the same thing as well, uh, content, um, okay, and now just so that we can see stuff, we're going to give them a background, we're also going to give them um, a border radius 50%, Okay, uh, now let's do proper backgrounds. So for that, we're going to uh, create a gradient uh, list function. So a uh, function, gradient list, and we're going to have a start, we're going to have a range, uh, and then we're going to have a number of steps, uh, which is going to be something like eight by default. We're going to set a gradient list, uh, and at the end of the function, we should uh, return uh, this uh, gradient list okay now uh, here we're going to have a unit this is going to be the range over the number of steps um, steps uh, now we're going to have a loop here for i from zero uh, through the number of steps um, we're going to add to this gradient list so it's previous version plus an HSL value, that's the start. Uh, we're going to do something like 85%, 57%. This should be good enough. Uh, and then we're going to increment the start. So um, we're going to add the unit every time. Okay, so now that I've done this, um, I'm going to set the background here. It's going to be um, actually, I'll make this 180 and let's make the start 0 by default. So let's say this is going to be conic gradient and use that gradient list. Okay, I'm getting something. So um, this is uh, pretty good so far. Um, the only thing I'm missing is um, I'm going to need to go uh, the other way, so I'm going to have um, um, 180 and minus 180, and I'm going to have a uh, transform uh, rotate 90 degrees. So uh, that's pretty much my first one. And as for the second one, I'm going to have 180. So for the after, so here I'm going to have gradient list um, 180 and 180. Uh, and here I'm going to have transform rotate to minus 90 degrees. So, um, actually, I can just do it with a custom property, uh, but then I'd need to um, have a calc there. But it would be really cool to do it with just a custom property. Um, but for now, I just leave it like this. Um, Okay, so um, this kind of does it. I'm going to compute an outer radius, and this is going to be half of the diameter. Then I'm going to compute an inner radius. Um, I don't know. Something. Okay, um, and then here I'm going to set a margin, and this is going to be zero and minus um, half of um, the outer radius.
radius minus the inner radius. Okay, now something else I'm going to do here is set a mask. And this is going to be a radial gradient. Um, so transparent up to the inner radius and black from that point on. Okay, so uh, this um, kind of does it. Now, something else I need to do here is um, set transform style preserve 3D and also set some rotate x. So something like this, and this is going to be with minus. Uh, no, actually the other way around. Okay, so uh, this uh, pretty much does it. Uh, I have that infinity with the gradient. Now let's start prettifying stuff around here. So um, first of all, we're going to set some styles on the body. Display flex, align item center, uh, justify content center. Um, we're also going to set margin zero. We're going to make it full height. Um, and we're going to give it a background. And this is going to be a radial gradient um, at zero, zero. Uh, and we're going to have something like, like, um, something like this. Um, and after that, we're going to have, um, I don't even know. Um, something dark. Okay. Uh, now, one more thing I want to do here is something like a filter, um, drop shadow, so uh, that's pretty much it, and we're going to add a second one, this is going to be more, more of a blur, okay. Now, something else I want to do is I don't like the edges there, so um, let's uh, tweak those edges so that they look better. Um, so what I'm going to do here is have a calc. Minus one pixel and here I'm going to have, okay, now one more thing I'm going to need to do, um, I'm going to set some box shadows, so um, first of all, um, GBA. This is going to be something like this. We should see it. And you can see it there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the same box shadow and I'm going to uh, put it here. Except I'm going to uh, move this. Okay, uh, this is a bit too much. I'm going to make it less exaggerated here. Okay, uh, then I'm going to add another radial gradient inside. So that's going to be circle at... Um, no, uh, because I've rotated it. So it's going to be 50% calc 50% plus one pixel because to the right it's now down uh, okay or down has now moved to the right um, and I'm going to have so let's say something like 0.5 and it's going to go um, all the way 
um, up uh, to um, actually I'm going to do the radius minus one pixel and the radius plus one pixel uh, so it's going to be pretty much this um, okay and then I'm going to have uh, transparent and uh, this plus one pixel Okay, I've uh, I've messed up something. And I don't know what. Oh, that that's what I messed up. Okay, so now I'm seeing something there. Maybe I should have uh, moved it two pixels so that it gets more obvious. Um. Okay, make this. Okay, this looks better. Uh, now I'm going to do something pretty similar on the other side. So um, just uh, before this. Okay, so um, this um, is going to be... Um, going to uh, reverse these bit it like this so I should be seeing it but I'm going to I need to increase this so that it's more obvious let's make it to 73 Okay, now I can see it down there. Okay, that's uh, that's good. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more radial gradients. So, a radial gradient circle at, um, and here I'll be doing something like um, mm, something like this. Um, and then I'm going to have transparent and this time it's going to be the outer radius something like this That looks pretty good actually and this I'm going to move it at 53% um, okay and I think um, that box shadow there I can dial it down to something like a 25 more like it Okay, so uh, that looks better there. Uh, so now that I've done this, I want to add one more shadow on the after. Uh, and this one is going to be radial gradient. So um, the top is going to be the right. So that's going to be circle at, um, it's going to be minus, no, um, so right, it's going to be 100%. Then I'm going to have um, minus that, okay. And I'm going to have RGBA and this is going to be outer radius. transparent uh, twice the outer radius okay so on uh, that does it and now let's uh, fix the position so that's going to be zero uh, 
zero, that's good. Uh, and it's going to be 50%, 100%, um, no repeat. Okay, so uh, that pretty much does it. It creates that shadow effect there. Um, and I think I'm just still going to leave it at this at this point. Of course, it can be tweaked with extra gradients so um, we can get closer to that effect. And of course, we can just uh, tweak uh, the colors in that conic gradient. Uh, I just generated them automatically here. But um, this is basically the idea how you do this, uh, the concept behind. And I'm not going to dwell on the artistic part because that's really not my area of expertise. I can't really do pretty. So uh, yeah, this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to continue putting stuff out, please support my work. You can do it with a donation. There's a link in the description and any amount can contribute towards helping me stay afloat. Alternatively, you can make this kitty happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Or you can at least share this to show the role what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.